Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today we are going to go over the latest marquee event, the Elite Combat 3. This is the third event in the Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando lineup. In today's event we will earn Gar Saxon's Gauntlet Starfighter Blueprints. Like the other marquee events, there are four tiers in this event. In this event we will earn credits and Gar and blueprints for Gar Saxon's Starfighter. For, this is the first event that we've seen that will actually have players use their starships to play the event. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and go into this. If you have been developing your ships, if you've been spending any time in the ship arena, then this shouldn't be too much of a hassle for you. If you don't have your ships available, then you may struggle a little bit. I did face off against a Gar Saxon ship already in the fleet arena. It was four star and it was awesome. It was a very difficult ship. I, the ship that I was, the, the rank that I was battling for was 65. And it was ridiculous how difficult it actually was. Even with a four star ship that wasn't maxed, I believe the level of the ship was only like 70. But it was still competitive in the fleet arena, which really goes to which really goes to talk to the way they've developed the ship. So in the first round, we got 25 ship shards and 100,000 credits. Second round, we got 15 ship shards and 150,000 credits. Now I'm just plugging in my random ships. I'm not strategizing, I'm just throwing in my most powerful ships. I want to see what they do and how they perform. These uh, marquee events, uh, the challenges haven't been super difficult, but they have been challenging to some extent. This will be a more challenging event, especially if you haven't built out your ships. If you have been lackadaisical or just haven't really cared about the ship battles, then this might come as difficult. Now, Unlike the character events, we won't have three rounds. This is just like the free fleet arena where you battle against the ships that you battle against. There won't be uh, round one, round two, and round three within each tier. It is just what it is. Now, third round of the for the third tier of this event, we get 25 ship shards and 150,000 ship credits. That is going to be nice to level up your characters, or level up your ships. What is nice about this event is we don't actually have to use ships within a light or dark side fashion. All ships are available. I think that might change in the future when we have more ships and then when we have ships that are more, when more players that we have built out their, their fleets. Um, I think it's likely that we will see more of these types of events. But in addition to that, I think that we'll see more restrictions on them. I think that we'll see things like you can only use a light or dark side event or you can only use a light or dark side team. I still know a number of people who struggle to keep their fleet as viable. Um, the fleet currently is the only way for players to earn Zeta abilities or Zeta materials so if you want to stay relevant in the arena, if you want to stay uh, up to date if you want your characters to still continue to be if you want your characters to still dominate galactic war then it's important to get these data materials as well as it's important to to build out your ships i really think that they're going to play a much stronger much larger component in the coming months slash years and we will see more and more additions like the gauntlet now again we will finish off we get in the fourth tier we get 10 ship shards, ship blueprints, and 150,000 ship credits. Let's go ahead and activate the ship. Like many of, like all of the marquee events, we will be able to activate the ship at two stars. But with the additional blueprints that we were able to earn, we will be able to bring it up to three stars within this first round. Five more ship blueprints, and we will be able to bring the Gauntlet Starfighter to the four star ship. Now again, we probably won't see the Gauntlet Starfighter added to the fleet shop for a very long time. It's unlikely that that's going to take place. 
anytime soon, probably in at least three months, maybe longer. But for the next 30 days, we do have the bundles and packs available. Bundles are $9.99, packs are 1,299 crystals, which puts it around $9.99 with tax and everything. One bundle will give you enough to level your character up, level the gauntlet up to four star, throw in a pack, and you are close to five star. Like I said earlier, this, this ship is going to be something that I do think uh, players will want to develop, will definitely want to farm once it becomes available. The ship itself has some pretty sweet abilities. So the reinvigorate with a Gar Saxon at level gear 11. Uh, dispels all debuffs on all allies and grants them protection up 20% for two turns, double for Empire allies. That's a, just a pretty sweet ability. Uh, the Imperial Proton, the Proton Missile Launcher, the ability provided by the Imperial Super Commando at gear 11, deals physical damage to target enemy and inflicts buff immunity for two turns. Is two basic attacks, deals physical damage to target enemy. On target lock, grant another random ally 20% turn meter. And superior ma maneuverability at get level 80. Gauntlet Starfighter has 20% plus 20% speed, gains additional plus 5 speed for each other active Empire ally. Additionally, it grants plus 20 defense to all allies, double for Empire allies. I do think that we're going to see more and more of uh, the Empire ships being introduced. There are quite a few of them currently. Are you excited for the newest event? Are you excited to see the Gauntlet Starfighter in action? Are you going to go ahead and pa purchase the bundles and pack? I will most likely be purchasing a bundle here in the next day or so. Leave a comment in the section below, like to our channel, subscribe to our channel, share this video. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, stay nerdy, my friend.